Here I'm working with some lithium metal, very difficult to cut. I've got a piece of sodium here, pretty easy to cut. And you'll notice when I cut through that, that the fresh sodium is very shiny compared to the rest. Let's zoom in real quick and see if we can really get in there. So this side will reflect a lot of light. The other sides are pretty dull. And you'll see that especially with the potassium here. I'm going to go ahead and give this kind of a half cut. So for the potassium, this is the side that's freshly cut and you can see the dullness to the other sides compared to that one. So I'm going to go ahead and take those three and I'm going to add them to water and we can look at the kind of reactivity of those three alkali metals with water. So here I'm going to take the lithium and add that to the water. It's going to generate hydrogen gas and lithium hydroxide. So you're going to see a pink color develop here and then you're going to see some smoke come off and that's either lithium metal or that's lithium hydroxide coming off of there. Maybe a little bit of liquid water. But it's not as reactive as say sodium, so I'm going to put sodium into the next one. And the sodium is actually probably going to ignite. So you'll see some orange flame perhaps, or some sparks, or some shrapnel. And then the last one, I'm going to go ahead and put my two pieces of potassium in. That I've cut in half. So this is less potassium than the other two, in terms of amount. But you'll find that the reactivity is a little bit greater. Now that potassium there was quite, quite reactive there, but the sodium sometimes will allow hydrogen gas to build up. In this case it's not igniting, but we can try adding another piece here. And we can hope that that's going to go ahead and actually send off some shrapnel and some flame. All three produce hydrogen gas, all three produce hydroxides, there's your alkali metals. Next we're going to go ahead and do the rubidium and cesium.